Just after 10.30 last night, uh, OPP received a call of a massive explosion, fireball uh, happening 401 at Brock Road here in Pickering. Uh, we got to the scene, two tractor trailers involved, another passenger vehicle involved. Uh, as a result of the investigation, we now know that two people have been pronounced deceased. Both of them are the truck drivers. Uh, the two uh, occupants from a passenger vehicle were able to escape uh, without injury. Uh, what we understand at this point is that that uh, double fuel tanker truck was traveling Highway 401 eastbound. For some reason, lost control, went into the concrete wall. Uh, the trailers uh, rolled over, ruptured, lit on fire, and uh, caused a massive explosion, fireball uh, into the sky, lighting up the night sky. Uh, at the same time, westbound uh, traffic was coming through. That's where the uh, tractor trailer and passenger vehicle uh, came through. That fireball, really, they had no place to escape. And as uh, they uh, passed through that area, they also uh, caught fire. Uh, the uh, driver, uh, again, uh, of the tractor trailer was pronounced deceased at the scene, and the two other people escaped. Right now, we have cleanup crews ongoing. We had that fuel spilling down into the catch basins, causing explosions at the uh, uh, catch basins, uh, lifting those uh, uh, manhole covers into the air, uh, causing just massive explosions all up and down uh, the roadway here. Uh, the MTO uh, engineers are here as well. They're doing their analysis of the bridge, the lighting, the highway, the infrastructure, the sewers, uh, and determining when uh, the highway can be reopened. The OPP, Collision Reconstruction uh, Unit, uh, are working along with the coroner to help with this uh, death investigation, uh, helping to help identify uh, the uh, identity of the two deceased. And uh, right now, I'm told this will be an extended closure. I don't know uh, positively how long that will be, but hopefully sometime later today we'll have a better idea. But I do suspect that afternoon uh, traffic will be affected. The only thing I really heard is where loud explosions and um, my granddaughter she sent me a little video I come out and uh, there were people outside in the in the street and they said that um, what they thought to us was an airplane coming down a big, uh, a big explosion and uh, a fireball in the sky like sure there's some of the remnants left of this tanker truck it's basically a shell and, and that's it it just burnt to the ground that's yeah. how that's how bad the fire was yeah. It's absolutely incredible and actually if you look at the light standard you can see uh, what appears to be a part of the trailer wrapped around that uh, light standard itself. Uh, an, an incredible impact. Uh, unbelievably tragic. Uh, two lives lost as a result uh, and again traffic uh, concerns here in the area uh, have been ongoing since uh, 10 30 last night and it will continue for the afternoon. Cleanup crews are working diligently and we're, we are mindful of how this affects other people's uh, ability to get around the city.